All right. It's not been a very good day. You Ethereum maxis might have been right. But I won't admit defeat until Monday. We're going to figure that out as well as what the taxes the Swedes did on Bitcoin mining. I think they went a tad overboard, but we're going to discuss that all next on OG Crypto and NFTs. Welcome, everyone. My name is Troy, and every day we go over the latest news in non-fungible tokens or NFTs, as well as the blockchain and cryptocurrencies. Now, before we jump into it, do me a favor, hit that like button and that subscribe button. I don't really think like, yeah, whatever. Yes, we understand that. You know, our producer Emmy is here and she doesn't want to be on today. So she's just going to give me the thumbs up or the thumbs down. We're going to figure that out. All right, let's jump right into it. First article here, Ethereum, sell the rumor by the Shanghai, which is that name of the upgrade. Looks like it's kind of taking off. It's It was approaching up to $2,100, had gone up five, 6%. I know the unlocks are taking a little bit longer for everything to be unlocked, but it looks like people are buying into it. I've always said that it's been fairly manipulated. Bitcoin is absolutely manipulated. But so can Ethereum be, uh, it, it gets a lot of press with all the influencers because it seems like something that they get a lot of views and clicks on. I'm not about views and clicks. I'm about raw, hard facts. And right now the facts show that I'm a loser. All right, let's jump into the next one. All right, for you, for you people out there, you tell me what is the worst tax you can get? Well, Let's go figure this out. Swedes, Sweden drives final nail into Bitcoin mining industry with a tax, tax hike. The 6,000% increase in taxes per kilowatt hour of energy may ultimately destroy the industry in the country. You know, you sound like California and the energy uh, out here. You know, the gas, the gas company that the uh, state approved, uh, what, 180% raise in, in uh, the price out here. Hey, the Swedes are just following Gavin Newsom's, you know, lead here. They, they don't want it. They're, they might be overwhelmed in that country because of electrical or electricity. But again, I always say, if you have solar, what is the problem? So if you're using solar, why are you taxing this, right? Don't go after, I know per kilowatt hour, please tell me it doesn't, it doesn't go after solar, which, which the world should be turning to. It makes more sense and we can take and harvest the, the sunlight from the, from the sun, the sun rays. All right, let's jump into the next one. Big, big news here. If you're an XRP, throw that back up. Ripple launches liquidity hub for businesses to bridge the crypto liquidity gap. They brought over Bitcoin, uh, Ethereum Classic, Ethereum, Litecoin, to name a few. I know a lot of uh, people in the XRP army have been a little disappointed that in that white paper that they talked about, and in their video does not go over XRP directly. I think for a couple of reasons why. Uh, one is that obviously they're in a lawsuit with the SEC, want to kind of keep that to the side for the moment. I don't know if it would have some kind of impact or the SEC would utilize or use it against uh, Ripple in their case. I also think that, you know, that if a lot of people out there that, that, are, that are saying this is all FUD, this is all bad news for XRP, but guys, let's be very frank. You know, the the value of the, the Ripple, the company, is basically almost all based upon the XRP token. The XRP token, mm, it's about $100 million of defense they've had so far, you know, uh, you know uh, reportedly in the SEC fight. Hmm. And then if they want to go public, what do they have as an equity? It's going to be the tokens. So before some of you guys out there in the XRP army are panicking, oh my God, they didn't mention in their in their paper about XRP. It doesn't make any sense why they why they wouldn't be somewhere down the road use, using it. Number one, number two, they have an idea of what they're doing. These are smart people. These are actually the smartest people in the room in most conferences. They know what's happening in the industry as well as world events. So don't ever look down upon Ripple. They, they have things under control. All right. NFT, let's just jump in the NFTs. We went over this last year, had a lot of fun with Goblin Town. I uh, went to NFT NYC 2022. Had a lot of fun. Now, maybe not as fun as, as these people, this guy and the two girls, 
But guess what now? Everyone's thinking that, ah, this guy is now the creator because now it looks like Goblin Town Creator trashes NFT artwork, disables trading and royalty stand. Come on. Your, your community just took a complete dump. Goblin Town went viral last year after holders rambled about piss. Think about that. Now, some NFT traders are unhappy with the creator's surprise moves. Let's go over it. Truth Labs creator of Goblin Town Ethereum NFT collection went viral last year. Has been accused of rugging holders this week by changing all the project's artwork into animated GIFs of a middle finger holding up an additional three fingers. Ouch. Is that what he's doing? I don't know if we can talk about this. Hope we don't get flash danced on this. But yeah, let's go move off of that before. It says uh, the change comes on an ongoing stand by Truth Labs in favor of enforcing creator royalties following the recent changes by top market marketplaces Blur and OpenSea to only enforce a minimum of 0.5% creator royalty for many projects. A creator royalty is a fee attached to the secondary market sale of NFTs and typically ranges between five and 10% of sale. That exactly. So when I when I sell my prop my NFT, the actual community then and if I sell it to somebody else, there's a royalty fee. Well, there's actually multiple fees. There's a fee that the marketplace takes from me. Then there's a uh, for selling it on their marketplace. Then whoever the the creator is, they take a fee from me as well. So with all that being said, I can get up to ten percent of uh, you know all, you know discounted off of what I'm going to receive back in net proceeds because of this. Now, a lot of people like Blur said, well, we're not gonna have any marketplace fees. So they cut that two and a half percent out and OpenSea had done that for a while. And in fact, OpenSea said for a while that they weren't gonna give out creator or, uh, or you know, people who actually, you know, uh, made up these, these communities uh, and made up the, the creator, the, the founders, they weren't gonna give them any kind of royalties. But look at this, man. Look at some of the stuff that's being said. You know, come on. You know, flipping doesn't do a community good whatsoever. The honor the flipper, beep the community. This is, this is exactly the bad attitude that I continue to see this happen in NFTs, especially on the Ethereum chain. They are not good. Goblin Town, go beep yourself. All right, guys, thank you very much for joining me today. If you, you hate me because I actually predicted Ethereum to go down, well, then put that in the comments and show me how much you hate me, okay? Otherwise, otherwise, yeah, stop flashing me. <laughs> Jesus. She doesn't want to be on today. She has a Hello Kitty sticker on her face for whatever reason. And then I get stuck out here with Goblin Town. <laughs> what a shit day. You guys take care. Have a fantastic weekend. Party, Garth. Let's go.